Hey there, this is Chris from the Old Man Cycling Show coming to you from what I think is the greatest bike shop in the world, Cycles by Kyle in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. If you're in the area, you got to check this shop out. It's awesome. Anyway, uh, starting this episode, we're about to take off on a trip to Iceland to do a gravel race called the Rift. So I have my bike down here today. Um, the guys down here are going to help me pack it up in my bag, get it all set. Uh, and then tomorrow we get on a plane, fly to Iceland, and uh, you'll see some of the video from that race and some of the course along the way, some beautiful scenery. But I figured since I'm down here, I'd show you a little of the shop here. This shop is awesome. I used to come here, at, well, I should say I've been coming here since like the, probably the late 80s. Uh, you know, Kyle has a bunch of frames hanging up on the wall, some complete bikes that are, you know, ready to roll. Um, but, and these happen to be some of my favorite frames in the world. These are all Dario Pegoretti frames. For those of you that know anything about uh, custom frame building, Dario was a master uh, building frames. I think he died in 20, I want to say 2020 or 2019, but they still make the frames. Uh, these are just gorgeous, like each one's a, a work of art. Um, but anyway, I'll, uh, I'll show you more as we're getting ready to pack. The, my bike up. This is the first time I'm using the case, this particular case. It's a SCICON a TSA 3.0 case. We're going to pack my gravel bike up in it and uh, we'll take some more video of that. Alright, so we're back where uh, all the work takes place in the shop. The front's just for show. This is this is Bordeaux back here. Anyway, uh, we have our shop manager, Alex who's getting the bike ready we've got this uh we put this protective uh coating on it like you would wrap a car so the frame doesn't get scratched with the bag while we're riding and we have mechanic extraordinaire nolan who uh from time to time has been known to help me with a problem or two on my bike uh because anytime i try to fix something i break it but anyway this is the bike that i'm taking it's uh, a look 765 gravel rs uh, i've had it for how long have i had it alex two months Two about now. two months love this bike it's got SRAM uh, SRAM force one by 11 speed ready to rock and roll we're just gonna pack it up in the coffin bag and show you that in a minute so be right back all right so now we're gonna load the bike into the new Sycon I guess is what you say uh, this is the 3.0 TSA approved bag um, that is uh, through axle compatible. So we've got the mound into the axles with the three axles, the, the uh, whatever things are to keep the brakes from being compressed. We're tightening it down in the frame. It is a nice bag, it's got a nice aluminum frame in it. Um, so things stay nice and solid when it's connected to the bag. And of course, you can see how much of a help I am. <laughs> I, I, I am good at giving directions, but I'm not good at uh, executing them. <laughs> so that looks pretty good. Yeah. Thing is in there. Now, do we have to tighten that uh, front thing or is that tight? I tighten it a little bit, give it a little snug in. Oh, that's tight. Good. Cool. All right. And there you go. So now we're packed up in the Sycom bag and we're just loaded with accessories and the wheels. The wheels are going to go these side pockets once you get everything set up so we'll get back to that I'll show you one you don't have to put it in yet it goes in here so the wheel's going to go in there then the whole thing folds back up and we're good to go and the next time you see this we'll probably be in Iceland all right so so far the bike's in the, the frame the one wheel's in we've got half the side pulled up we're going to put in the last wheel and then pack this off. Now you can tell I've been doing most of the work here and Alex and Owen have just been supervising the work that I've done. Of course. And uh, of course they had to redo everything that I did. <laughs> just consulting. <laughs> hey, no, no snide remarks from the peanut gallery there. <laughs> so now this has a pad in this front corner that goes over the, the handlebar here and there and then two straps pulled up. So just leave that and get this one on. So this one holds the bike down. Can you go outside the port again? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so this one holds this down. Set that. Like 
that comes up to the front. Oh, that's right. Yep, yep. Okay. There you go. All right. And this is going to come over here like this. Hold this down. Take this a little bit. Pull the sides in. Flip this. Tighten it down. This is really a nice bag, I have to say. I'm pretty impressed with it. I'll hold that if you want to get it around the handlebars in the front. Tuck Make those sure that the right's in one corner. Yep, it's on. Yep. And that one's on. Get this front here started. I'm just going to start it. Just going to tighten everything up. All right, that's all in there. Good? Tight. So there's straps inside the bag that hold everything together. Can you just hold right there, Alex? Thank you. Good. All right. So we're all set. Now, of course, this does come with a lock, but I screwed up setting the combination on the lock, so I'm going to go home and take my old lock and use that. But. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, it locks right here with the TSA approved lock, so nobody can get in your bag, but TSA can open it and inspect it, which they will do. I'll just warn you, so don't try to pack stuff in your bike bag. I mean, don't think people are going to see. We're ready to roll, man. Sweet. Good job, dude. Nice. <laughs> All right. See you in Iceland or at the airport. <laughs>